Rivers play an essential role in all our lives in many different ways. Rivers are very important. They're important habitats for a wide variety of species. People like to use rivers as an amenity. In the past they've been absolutely key to our industrial heritage and our industrial development. Rivers underpin everything we do. The legacy of the Industrial Revolution in the Derbyshire area is both an asset in terms of history but a hindrance in terms of improving our rivers. The old weirs left from the early mills and cotton industry caused many problems. Sluggish water and poor habitats immediately above them and a barrier to many species of fish attempting to migrate upstream to reach better feeding and spawning grounds. At Dali Abbey there's a weir that fish can't get past and it's a very historic feature and so we've been working with the World Heritage Site people to try and find a solution which still leaves that iconic view and status of the heritage and celebrates it and creates a solution that lets the fish past. Building the Fish Pass brought together many different partners and an unlikely mix of concrete, steel, machines, wildlife and history and is one of the largest fish passes built by a Rivers Trust to date. Improving our rivers is the responsibility of the Environment Agency, working together with many partners as part of the EU Water Framework Directive. We're doing fish passes to help improve the state of the rivers because not only do they allow fish movement but they also have other biodiversity gains and help with water quality. What's significant is that the Environment Agency are now undertaking this work in partnership with river trusts and for the River Derwent it's the Trent Rivers Trust who has taken on board the job of managing this project and improving much of the local river environment. Darley Abbey project is hugely significant for the Trent Rivers Trust. It is a massive um, civil engineering and technical project and it's one that we've met and we're really pleased to have done that. The project presented a number of specific problems and an equal number of creative solutions from all the partners involved. Darley Abbey was uh, probably one of the more complex uh, fish pass uh, projects we've been involved with. Because the, the structures listed, we needed to factor in the listed status uh, that imposed other constraints on, on the design. The basic idea involved excavating a trench from the upstream end of the island to the downstream and installing the fish pass in the newly formed channel. The solution we went with was this uh, pass called a Lorinier fish pass and it's a pass normally constructed from concrete with these herringbone shaped baffles on the base. These are bolted directly into a concrete channel and they slow the water down. But for the contractors, AV Squires, working on an island presented a completely new set of problems. There's no difference in concreting on the ground than concreting in the middle of the, an island. The only difference is, is getting your concrete over there. Access on and off the island was one of the biggest challenges for the construction team. Building the fish pass brought together many different skills and construction processes and the wildlife found it all very fascinating. Of course, the entire construction of the fish pass at Dali Abbey has been influenced by the historical significance of the mills and weirs of the Derwent Valley. This is the birthplace of the factory system. The Derwent Valley was where it all started because really the, of the power of the River Derwent. It's an incredible river, the amount of water going through it. They knew that they would always have enough water to power those mills. The fish pass is built to enable many different species of fish found in the river to move upstream and into different diverse habitats, such as the area around the Ecclesbourne, a significant tributary of the Derwent. This environment here has got a real variety of habitats for fish. It's got gravels, it's got deep pools, it's got overhanging trees where fish can hide. So from the wildlife point of view, there's huge benefits. And as I say, for us, it's also about engaging with the public and with other building partnerships so that together we can do more to help our rivers. And the construction work continued. Walls were built, piles removed, machines worked, concrete poured, historic stones reshaped and laid. And the Larinier baffles themselves were machined, bent to shape and welded together. And as another key element of the project, the Trent Rivers Trust had put in place an archaeological watching brief. 
And as the diggers dug and the watchers watched, the island itself revealed significant historic artifacts dating back to medieval times. And as the works committee made their inspection, the construction was nearing completion. With the Larinier baffles themselves finally in place, it was time to pull the plug and let the water flow. The whole project has been a significant achievement for the Trent Rivers Trust and its many partners, with other future projects in the pipeline. And with ongoing monitoring being put in place using underwater cameras, it may not be too long before sites like these will be seen in the fish pass at Dali Abbey.